Alright boys and girls, welcome to the DFS experience for opening day of our NBA season. You know these videos are brought to you by our friends over at Thrive Fantasy, the player prop website where you can play against the house to play against other players in contest format. You got Mr. James over or under 25 and a half total points. If you choose over, you get 95 points. If you choose under, you get 105 points. You got his man AD over or under 11 and a half total rebounds. If you choose over, you get 110 points. If you choose under, you get 90 points. If you use my promo code DFS Chapel, you do get a deposit match up to 250. Or you can use the link that's in the description. Now, we're going to start with DraftKings like we always do. I know a lot of you were waiting for NBA. Here it is. Um, the wait is over. If you watch my NFL videos and you didn't get an MB you didn't get an NFL video for um for last week. I was actually in the hospital so there was no way for me to make that video in time. So I apologize for that. Um you know sometimes shit happens. You gotta deal with it. But what you gonna do? Um we're here. We're gonna start with DraftKings. It's only a two game slate. Um nothing too Nothing too crazy. We know the players. We know, you know, we know the roles. A few new acquisitions, but um, this slate should be pretty much straightforward. We're gonna start with point guard, like we always do. Got Chef Curry, ninety two hundred, reasonable price. Buy him up. We got Booker. We're gonna wait to see what's going on with Booker and Bill, because depending on who's in or out. Um, if, if one of the two are out, you can absolutely play, um, the one that's in plus Durant, or you don't even really need Durant because they're both priced pretty much reasonably also, especially Bill. But, um, if they start Bill at point guard, doesn't necessarily mean that, um, he's going to be the main facilitator because we know Booker and Durant could also facilitate. Um, even, um, Nurkic. So it's going to be one of those things where everybody does a little bit of everything. So, um, Beal at 6,900 is a fine price because if he goes off, um, you're going to get, you're going to get a lot of your value back. Um, Curry, Booker, Murray, Beal, all in play. Russell, 6K, he's fine. Chris Paul, 5,600, he's underpriced. Gabe Vincent, 4,500, probably going to get 18 to 24 minutes. Um, you know, with these guards, they're gonna they're gonna ride the hot hand. Um, Gabe Vincent is fine. Reggie Jackson, forty one hundred. Probably a little bit risky, but you should get you should get a few minutes. Um, Peyton, Peyton is, you know, he doesn't shoot a lot typically very stocks dependent so i don't know if 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 you built a lineup that you love and you have an open spot 3900 for your guard or forward i guess you could plug them in but i'm not going to be bending over backwards to play gary payton um shooting guard clay thompson 65 he's fine Austin Reeves, 61, is fine. Grayson Allen on Phoenix. I like him if he starts. He's going to get, gonna get a lot of open shots, but not going too crazy. 4,900, you're looking for 30 fantasy points. Always remember, every year, um, the DFS community gets smarter. They get sharper. You understand what I'm saying? You're going to need a little bit more points. So, you know, settling for five, five and a half um, times your value. That's not going to cut it. You're looking for six and a half times value. You know, Grayson Allen at 4,900, if he gives you 25 fantasy points, you still probably fail. You feel me? So, you got to be real um, technical with how you build these lineups. KCP is fine. If he gets high, he pays that off. Christian Braun um, should be one of the first guys off of Denver's bench, 4,400. Can he pay that off? Guess the Lakers, I don't know. But if you need 
value. He's fine. Eric Gordon looks good at 4,300. Um, is he in the starting lineup? Is he in the starting lineup? I know he started some preseason games. I'm not quite sure if he's in the starting lineup, but Eric Gordon is definitely um, in play. Whether he starts or not. Um, he's another guy that's going to be getting open shots on Phoenix. So that should be good for him. Um, these guys down here I don't really need. Moody's fine. If you need the if you need the value. I'm not touching anyone else under that. Braun Braun 93 is always fine. Um, honestly, I'm beyond with you like. I already started building DraftKings lineups, and, I, and I'm looking to go um, mid range, keep it balanced, because a lot of these got a lot of the mid range guys are like perfectly priced or a, a touch underpriced. So I think I might just build a balanced lineup, but we'll see. Braun is in play. Porter Jr. is 5800. He's fine. Kaminga. The question of the day is: We know his talents. We know his upside. How many minutes is Steve, is Steve Kerr going to play him? That's the question. If you feel in your heart, he's going to give Kaminga 22 minutes. 20 minutes at 4,600, that's fine. If you feel that he's going to leave him on the bench out of spite like he did last season, you can play him. Um, listen, you play multiple lineups, you can take a shot. Okogi, no thank you. Not on Phoenix, buddy. You're going to get, what, two shots a game? I'm good. No thanks. Now it's little 3,700. We know he gets rebounds. We know he does a lot of things. Uh, 3,700. He's going to need a few shots to pay that off also. You know, you think he's going to give you eight rebounds and three blocks and two steals? He could, but what's the probability of that happening? You know, you got to pay this $3,700 off. $3, off. Um, Tayshawn Prince, 3,500. I heard he was going to be in the starting lineup. 3,500 starting. He's going to be scoring dependent. Also, he might grab a few rebounds, but um, he's fine. Nothing. It, he looks cheap, but at the end of the end of the day, these guys got to pay these things off. You know, they got to pay their prices off. He's fine. 3,500. Cam Reddish should get 20 minutes, 18 minutes, 3,300. I guess if you're desperate, you could play him. Um, KD, 8,400, fire him up. If one of his two guards are out, he looks even better. Um, Draymond, 5,900, he's priced appropriately. I know he had an ankle injury. Um, we got to see. It's still a little bit early. We're like, what, two days before opening day, so we still got to see where the availability is, but. You don't need him, but at 5,900, if he's 100% healthy, then he's a good play. Aaron Gordon's absolutely in play. Wiggins is in play. Hachimura's in play. I like Vanderbilt only if he starts, but I doubt he starts. Um, Sarich, backup center. I guess you could take a shot. Center, Jokic at 10K is fine. He's not going to go crazy. We know he always starts off a little bit slow in the beginning of the season. That man clearly gives zero fucks about basketball. But he ends up turning it on later on in the season. I expect him to do that again. We all know he doesn't even play basketball in the offseason. So that's probably why he gets off to a slow start. Just He really doesn't care. Um, but he really doesn't need to go crazy. He got all the other guys. On his team. So Jokic at 10K is fine. But I don't think he's necessary. AD 8900. You could take a shot. Especially with a little bit of bad blood. Between LA and Denver. Um, Nurkic at 6300. He's fine. He's actually priced decent. If Beal. Or Booker are out. Nurkic. Nurkic value goes up a little bit. Christian Wood 6200. Expect him to get a lot of run. Fire him up, whether he starts or not. Um, Looney, rebound machine, absolutely in play. 
Drew Banks, backup center, absolutely in play. DeAndre Jordan, I don't need. They might even play um, Najee over him, to be honest with you. Fuck, you need Jordan on the court for. Um, Jackson Hayes is in play, 3,600. He's going to be on the court. Um, how Golden State use, utilizes Garuba or Sarek, I don't know. Sarek could play power forward also. That's why I'm not, that's why I'm actually, um, considering him a good play. But we got to see what Steve Kerr does. Um, I think that's it for DraftKings. We'll go to FanDuel. If you're new here, welcome. Appreciate you taking the time to watch my video. If you are not subscribed, please subscribe. Hit the bell, thumbs up. That stuff means a lot. And uh, continuing to build this this channel. And if you're struggling or you're new to NBA DFS and you need my help, you want me to build your lineups, or you want my lineup, my optimal lineup, you can check out my Patreon. That's linked in the description. Um, let's go to FanDuel. Yes, I know that. Um, I know that my energy is a little bit low for this video. Listen, like I said, I just been in, I just came out of the hospital. I've been in the hospital the last few days. Um, I'm not a hundred percent, but um, I'll, I'll 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 be back. I'll be back to me um, rather sooner than later. So just bear with me. Um, Fanduel point guard. <sighs> we got Mr. Steph Tank K. Um. Listen, as this Golden State Warriors team gets older, they'll be relying on Steph more. I said all that to say this. Tank K is fine. You're going to have to put them on their back to beat Phoenix. Fire him up. Jamal Murray, um, he's a Laker killer. Fire him up. We're going to watch and see what happens with Brad Beal. I like the DraftKings price a little bit better. Bradley Beal is still fine. Chris Paul, a bit overpriced, 8K. But, um, you know, if you got the money to burn on him, he's not an awful play, but he's a little overpriced for me. Russell is fine. Gabe Vincent is fine. How much run is a backup point guard Corey Joseph is going to really get when, when, he's, when he's subbing in for Curry? Not a lot. Do they put him at one and then put Curry at two to give him more minutes? See, they can. I don't need. I don't need Curry Joseph at forty five hundred, and I don't need. The, I don't need. The, I don't need any of the rest of those point guards. Let's go to shooting guard. Booker ninety six hundred, probably gonna play. Um, he's probably gonna play. Limited to Sunday's practice or so toe. Yeah, he's probably gonna play. I don't really see him missing opening day for a toe. Um Book is in play, Reeves is in play, Clay, KCP. Um I don't know how many minutes Justin Holiday's gonna get, so I can't play him with a open heart. You feel me? Cam Reddish, you wanna take a shot, take a shot. Gary Payton on FanDuel, you could take a shot. Grayson Allen, you could take a shot, especially if one of his guards are out. Christian Braun, he's fine. Eric Gordon is fine. Um, KD, you're playing him. Braun, 10.3, a little bit underpriced. A little bit underpriced. And like I said, a little bit of bad blood between L.A. and Denver. L.A. should come out fired up. Wiggins is always a decent play. 6,800, he's fine. Porter, fine. Hachimura, 48, he's fine. Kaminga, 4,600. If he gets the minutes he's supposed to get, he's underpriced. Fire him up. Um, Torian Prince, he's going to start. 4,200, fire him up. Um, Nas Little, 4K. Okay, 4K on FanDuel, I could do. On FanDuel. Rudy Gay, not on the team anymore. Um... Yeah, I'll stop at Nas Little, to be honest with you. Um, 11.2 AD, fire him up. Um, Draymond, Draymond 
If he's not 100%, I don't need him at 7K. No, thank you. Christian Woods in play. Aaron Gordon's in play. I like Vanderbilt if he starts. Eubanks is in play. Jackson Hayes is in play. I feel I feel like Zeke Nadi's going to get a lot of um, backup forward and backup center minutes, but I'm not going to jump on that. I'm not going to jump on that train until I see it. Jokic, 11, fine. He's fine. Fire him up. Jokic, Nurkic. Yo, oh, my God. I'm fucking up. I hope you guys know that Jokic and Nurkic used to be on the same team. Nurkic used to be on Denver, if I'm not mistaken. But Nurkic, I'm talking about 7,500. You can fire him up. Looney, 5,400. He's fine. As long as he gives us his 15 rebounds. Ball Ball, don't know how they're going to utilize him in the regular season. I'll stay away until I have more information. And DeAndre Jordan, I'm not touching. He may not even get on the court. Like, I don't even see the sense of him playing. But I think that's it. We got DraftKings down. We got FanDuel down. That's my player pool. Um, yeah, I think that's about it. Any questions? You could throw it in the chat. Appreciate you guys taking the time to watch my video. Like I said, I will be getting better, you know, day by day. Just bear with me. Um, don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed. Hit the bell. Thumbs up. Check out the Patreon link in the description. If you need me to build your lineups or you want my optimal finalized lineups, and I'm going to go on and get out of here. I appreciate you guys. Talk to you later. Ciao.